Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting unboxing video. Today I'm bringing you the brand new Razer phone. That's right, this is the Razer phone. Now they don't have these at any carriers yet, so I picked this up at a Microsoft store. So I wanna say thank you to Microsoft for getting that for me. Let's go ahead and get into the box. I love the way they packaged it. Feels nice. It's not just a standard little cardboard box. Oh yeah. Very cool. Nice little statement from the CEO. I like that. There's the phone right there. Beautiful device, feels good in the hand. We'll set that aside for just a second. Let's get into the box. Oh, I love what they've done here. <laughs> this is very cool. So here's your literature. Oh, look at that SIM removal tool. Now that's awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so excited about a SIM removal tool as this one, but how cool is that? Razor. See if you guys can see that. Very cool. Thank you, Razor. What do we got here? This must be, yep, there's the DAC. So this has a quad DAC, but it's actually built into the USB-C cable because there's no headphone jack on the phone. <laughs> How about a pull tab? Yeah, <laughs> look at that, USB-C cable. It's braided, I love the braided cables. I actually buy braided cables, so I'm glad that they did that, very cool. And here's the power. Very cool. All right, so now what you've all come here for, let's check it out. Wow, it feels nice and sturdy in the hand. It's got a cool, cold feel to it. Of course, the Razer logo on the back. You've got the uh, volume buttons right here on the side. Let's see how they feel. Oh, they feel good. They feel like metal. Somebody I thought said they were plastic, but they're actually metal. Of course, on the bottom, you can see here, you've got just the USB-C. Looks like a, a microphone jack. And over on this side is your power button and fingerprint, uh, fingerprint sensor. The dual 12 megapixel camera set up here with a flash. Nice. Let's fire this up. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Here's a little side comparison to the iPhone 10. Oh, that's a cool boot up. Look at that. Okay, loving that boot up. <laughs> Get started. I agree. No, I'm not sharing usage. Now it says it wants to unlock with my fingerprint. Okay, so let's, so now it wants me to find the sensor on the side. Put your finger on the sensor and lift after you feel the vibration. Okay, so here we go. Very fast. Says it wants me to use different parts of my finger. Yay, fingerprint added. Now that's one thing that I like about what Google's doing. So what it did is it actually copied my wallpaper over from my Note 8, which is really cool. Of course, you can't see it because I've got so much crap on the screen, but I love how they do that now. So you can see, 
That's what it looks like. System is fast and responsive. It's going to download a ton of apps here, of course. 145 applications to go. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit. So as soon as this gets done, I'll do some uh, cool samples, some tests, a uh, screen, just some quick things for first impression stuff. But so far right now, very cool phone. It's still downloading apps right now, but I wanted you guys to hear the sound quality. This is ridiculous. This, the sound on this phone, and I'm not lying, sounds better than some of the Bluetooth speakers that I've been sent to review. This thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous for sound. It is so loud. Let me hold it up to the mic. I mean, it is loud. I love the speakers on this. It really, really gets you in. That is incredible. Thank you, Razer. Goodness. So this phone has 8 gigs of RAM, which is incredible. Right now I've got the display set to the 120 hertz. I mean, that's obviously one of the big draws on the phone right now. So you can see it has 60, 90, or 120 hertz. Now the cool thing with the technology that Razer says is it will change, it's adaptive depending on what you're doing. So as it's just sitting here, it's 60, but then as soon as I open things up and need to use that 120 hertz, it kicks right into it. So it acts kind of like G-Sync, it's gonna do two things. It's gonna obviously increase the frames per second that you're seeing, and it's then when you're not using it, it's going to save the battery life. So very cool, and you can really tell how fluid that is at 120 hertz. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. I'm recording at 60 frames a second to try to get it as close as possible. But that is incredibly smooth. The system is fast. It's extremely responsive. Um, everything runs great on it. There's no slowdown. And you can see I'm downloading, still downloading 68 of 145 different apps. So the other thing is with the display, Right here, you can tell it to wake the screen when you receive notifications. It's also got double tap anywhere on the screen to wake it up. So if the display is off, you can double tap. And you can see that the resolution is 1440. You can also dim that down. So you can see you can kick that down to uh, 1080p. You can also turn it down to 720p if you really want to save some battery life. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to crank this bad boy all the way up to the max. But let's see what that double tap to wake up looks like. So the button, power button's over here on the side. So if I double tap, there it is. So very cool. Fingerprint sensor is fast. Probably the fastest fingerprint sensor I've ever used. I really like that. Of course, you've got all the standard bells and whistles here. What's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow's forecast for Dunedin is 75 degrees and sunny. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> So very cool, very responsive. Let's, uh, let's show you what the camera is like on this phone. So here it is. See how it's got a delay there? 
That's with HDR off. Let's turn HDR on, which should make it worse. Yeah, see the delay? Now let's test the video camera on it. So it's recording video. You see it stuttering there? I'm sure this can be fixed in software though. I'm not sure on what sensor they're using for this, but there is some huge, huge stuttering when recording video. And you'll see here that it's also in the playback, so it's not just us watching that video. Great mic on it though. The, the microphone's picking up really well. I'm sure this can be fixed in software though. Make sure you guys stay tuned for my full review though. I will examine that further and see exactly what I can do. I'll try some different um, APKs, some different files, maybe the Pixel camera. Um, see if that'll fix that camera, clean that up. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and first impressions video. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up. Subscribe, share it with all your friends. I appreciate it. And always, I'll see you guys on the next video.